All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in to Hard Working Man. I'm Heath, and today we're heading out. I'm gonna grab some buckwheat to plant here in the next couple of weeks. Then when we get back home, I have a dead shagmark hickory tree that I'm gonna take down, a dead black walnut tree I'm taking down, and then I'm gonna take down a real nice oak tree. We're gonna use that oak tree, bring it over to a buddy's house in a later video. We're gonna get that thing milled up and I'm gonna replace all the deck boards on my Big Tech Goosenecks trailer. So thanks for coming along. We're gonna go grab this buckwheat, get back, get the saws out and drop a couple trees. All right, just got back from picking up that buckwheat, grabbed some dog food, filled a couple grill tanks with propane. Everything costs more these days got to the elevator almost a 40 minute drive I'd called and asked about buckwheat they said they had nine bags so I got there paid for four bags they told me to go to door two I get out there the guy comes out and says uh we have it stored in a different barn can you come back tomorrow and get it I just drove 40 minutes I called and asked ahead of time luckily the guy who worked there lives up by me so he's gonna drop it off tomorrow and he said he's gonna bring me some free bags of seed of other other seeds good for food plots when he brings it out so it's places like that you get a, an employee like that or business owner like that and they make a mistake but they take care of it that'll earn my business in the future there have been two grain elevators i'd go to to get my seed i'm going to start going to this one now they made a mistake yeah but he made it right so we're going to start with this black walnut see this is going to be the most difficult one most likely today this tree's dead starting to drop branches in the yard gonna get it down some of it will be used for firewood there's not a lot of good saw log on it I have a buddy who has a mill who's gonna make my uh, boards for my trailer so I'm gonna give him the the best piece of it so he can make some black walnut timber if he wants we're gonna try to drop this out into the backyard hopefully we won't uh, drop it up here towards the house. I've got an old GMC Sonoma I was driving before I picked up the Mazda 2 to save on fuel. And I've got this little Chevy Tracker. I just want to get that built to drive out in the woods. But I think we should be good. There's a small cherry tree up there in the yard that we might get. I'm gonna try to stay away from that as well, but we'll see. Not sure what killed this tree. It's been dead probably a little over a year now though. Another black walnut tree to the left of it. And that's some maple over there to the right. You can see the tree behind it there. My kids decided to try to chop down with an ax a couple years ago when they were younger. They went around and hit a few oak trees and that tree, not sure what their plan was. They got tired of one and went to the next. What do you do with kids, right? At least they were outdoors. So I'll get the Steel 036 Pro. That's what I'm running again today. I'll get that warmed up and we'll get to working on this walnut.
All right, we got her down right where we wanted her. Just nicked that cherry tree, but no damage. Came in a little high above my uh, face cut. Should have been a little lower there. But it's down. We're gonna go drop this hickory tree and that oak tree next. I'll take this stump down lower too. I'll get my bigger saw to do that though. Alright, this is the next tree I'm taking down today. This is a shag bark hickory, I believe. And this also died about a year ago. It's a pretty tall tree. I'm gonna drop it out, try to hit the edge of the yard and along the driveway. This is my septic field is in this yard up here. So I'm hoping it won't get out into the middle of that. Gonna have a fair amount of cleanup today with these tops, but we'll get it cleaned up, get the driveway opened up at least. And once we have that hickory down, the next tree we're going to take, well, we'll probably have to clear a few small ones out of the way. But then that big oak tree right there, that's going to be my deck boards for my Big Tex trailer. It's a tall, straight tree. Not sure the diameter, I'll check that. But I'm thinking we should be able to get all the deck boards out of that one tree. And the top will just be firewood. That one's gonna come out into the yard a little bit. I think when I drop it, I'm gonna try to keep it to the right edge along the driveway again. I'm gonna go get the coyote warming up because we're gonna need that to get these trees clear to the driveway once they're dropped. I know a lot of you guys, if you're watching this channel, you've watched some of the other outdoor channels, some of the firewood channels, outdoors with the Morgans, Joe's Premium Firewood, Outside with Shibe, Back 40 Firewood, In the Wood Yard with Chris, Ohio Wood Burners, a lot of different good channels out there. I know on Back 40 Firewood the other day, he was just talking about good work gloves, and we all struggle with that. I picked these up. I can't speak to the durability of them. They're Milwaukee. Most of the Milwaukee stuff I've used, these safety glasses are very clear. I like that. It's been good quality. I've used the Milwaukee, just the, I believe they're goat skin, regular leather gloves. I picked these up. They've got a Kevlar liner in them, cut resistant liner. They've got some impact protection on the outside. So, so far I've been really liking these. As long as they hold up, I think I'll grab another couple pairs. Tough to find good gloves. They take a little while to break in. They weren't crazy comfortable at first, but the more I use them, the better they're feeling.
All right, two for two, getting where we wanted them. Let's try to get this oak down without smashing my IBC totes. Thinking this tree may have been dead a little longer than I thought. And I just noticed it about a year ago. Now it would probably make sense to move my IBC totes to make sure I don't smash them. But I usually just take my chances. I guess we'll see what happens. All right, before I drop that oak, I'm gonna get this hickory cleaned up. That way we have uh, one side of our driveway open. I've got a kid get his baseball trials tonight. My wife will be coming home from work soon. So I'm gonna clear this side of the driveway real quick. And I plan on dropping that oak on the other, other half of the circle drive. So let's get this cleaned up. All right, as you can see, it's finally warming up here in Michigan. I think we're into the 50s today. That brings the mud, which I hate, but I guess it's a necessary evil. I'm just gonna cut this trunk in half here, uh, maybe into thirds, get it out of here with the grapple. Then we'll clear a couple trees and get to that oak. <laughs>
All right, I think I'm gonna change my plans up on the oak. It's about a 24 inch diameter oak tree at the base there. Instead of dropping it up this driveway to the right by the IBC totes, I think I'm gonna be able to drop it across the driveway to the left like I just did that hickory tree. And then as long as I can get this base end out of it, I'll measure how long I need my boards on my trailer. I'll use the Husqvarna loggers tape you've seen me using in the video. Measure it out, get it cut down, picked out with the coyote. And then the driveway will be open and I'll have some time to get everything cleaned up. So I'll grab the old 36 Pro, get this small tree in front of it down, clear it out a little bit. As you can see, I'll be working on ice. Not the greatest thing to be working on. But I gotta get this thing down before oak wilt becomes a concern. So let's get the base cleaned up. I'll go grab the Makita, get that saw warmed up, and we'll get this oak tree down.
that we got it right where we wanted it. I'm going to measure out 14 and a half feet. Actually, I might, we'll see how long it is. I might do two 15 foot cuts. 14 foot one inch is the longest board I need, but I'm going to leave a little extra. Let's see what we got here up to this first branch. up to here so we got plenty cut them at 15 foot that'll give me three three saw logs 15 foot long each <coughs> not a bad day three for three on dropping trees where we wanted them to go i got the two dead trees down i wanted to get down before branches did some damage or hurt somebody and i got this oak tree down a lot of firewood left in this top we'll get this cleaned up and we got three nice saw logs to make new deck boards for my trailer we'll bring that to you in the video when we do it